today in this video i'll discuss about compound microscope basically in compound microscope we'll calculate the magnifying power of a compound microscope and the construction of a compound microscope also we'll discuss in this video now before we discuss the compound microscope you should know about the magnifying power basically the angular magnification of a simple microscope because we'll use the result of simple microscope here in the compound microscope so i have already prepared a video for simple microscope and uh, detail in detail i have uh, derived the magnification magnifying power of a simple microscope so you can go to the video list of the uh, video list in the channel and you can um, go uh, you can watch the video for the simple microscope so simple microscope is basically a converging lens or you can say like this is a convex lens so a convex lens is also called a simple microscope where we can magnify the object but the limitation is we cannot magnify um, more than five six, six times in a uh, simple microscope so that's why we try uh, the people try to design something which can magnify the object multiple means like 30x or 40x 40 times or 30 times uh, we can in enhance the magnifying power to a large extent which is used uh, um, in lots of uh, medical uses pathology and in other purposes so now uh, what is a com compound microscope and sim so compound microscope will have basically two uh, converging lenses one will be smaller which will be in front of the object that two will be we will call it objective and another one will be bigger that will have a bigger aperture and also uh, focal length so that will be called eyepiece that will be near the eye so the first lens will magnify the object once that magnified image will act as the object for the eyepiece that is the second lens so that more magnified image will be produced and we can we can see the enlarged view of a smaller object so this is the principle of your compound microscope where uh, it will work on the uh, concept of that uh, two two converging lens will be coaxially fixed and uh, magnification will happen two times first will be by the objective second it will be the magnification will be by the eyepiece so now let us discuss little bit briefly about simple microscope its angular magnification then we will discuss about compound microscope because uh, you will understand this concept uh, in a better way so simple microscope as i told you it's simply a uh, your convex your convex lens so if i'll keep a object here in front of a convex lens then this is my the distance between my object to the lens it is called object distance where the image will be formed that is called image distance now if i'll keep my object on the focus then the, my image will be formed at infinity and uh, if i'll keep the object in between the focus and the lens then my image will be enlarged of course and uh, we will find out that uh, minimum distance where we can see the image or i can see the image that it will be called the distance of minimum distance for the distinct vision or the near point also we can say and this is 25 centimeter basically for a normal human eye so an object which is will hold 25 centimeter from our eye we can see that object clearly and if we we'll bring close we cannot see more I mean, that clarity so that is called minimum distance so we'll find out the angular magnification suppose this is the object i'm looking at the object without any lens then let's say i'm this is your object height 
and I'm looking at the object without any lens. Let's say this is your theta zero and object is at height edge. So my theta 10 theta zero basically will be and let's say this is your D the minimum distance that we can see the object clearly we have kept it on the distance D and we want to try to see the object so my 10 theta 0 will be basically H by D theta 0 will be very small because this is the minimum angle where we can see the object clearly minimum distance so theta 0 will be very small so sine theta and tan theta if theta 0 is very small it's uh, theta 0 so tan theta will tend to theta if theta is small right so we can write tan theta is uh, approximately equal to theta 0 equal to h by approximately it's h by d so we are basically interested to find out the angular magnification so angular magnification will be angular magnification so let's say now one lens will be there converging lens is there which will magnify this is case of simple microscope now your object is here at uh, on the focus let's say this is the focus and your object is here so parallel rays will pass through like this and uh, the ray which will pass through the optical center will undeviate it so they will be so image will form basically at infinity so in that case in that case let's say this is your theta i image so tan theta we, we will become again this is let's say h and this is focal length f basically your image will be h uh, does but it will be same tan theta it's h by f and uh, h by b it will be same you can prove that so for that you can write that your theta i is equal to h by f now angular magnification is theta i by theta zero so angular magnification equal to theta i by theta zero that is your h by f divided by h by d h h cancel so which is equal to d by f so remember your angular magnification m equal to d by f and this is when the image is formed at infinity that is the far point so here the image is formed at infinity image at infinity image at infinity far point this is also called far point or normal adjustment also we say because this is the uh, case or situation where our eye can see any object clearly and without any strain on the ciliary muscle because uh, we can uh, see the distant object more comfortably than the object close to our eye if we'll keep our book very close to our eye we'll get the strain on our eye for longer time if we'll hold the book and try to read continuously then uh, more strain will be there on your eye so it's more comfortable you should hold the object beyond your capital d that is the least distant distance of distinct vision or near point so this is for the object image at infinity now if the image will be formed at uh, capital d for that situation if image will be formed at infinity this is the result if image will be formed let's say this is your focus you kept the object in between focus and uh, somewhere in the, between the optical center so your image is formed let's say the image is formed but image is the this one the u is in, uh, u0 that is your object distance is 
adjusted in such a way that your image is formed at capital D minimum distance your image is formed at capital D so in this case what will happen that image is formed at minimum uh, D so your formula will be modified this angular magnification M will become 1 plus D by F the proof I have already done and uh, you can derive this also uh, using your lens equation the lens equation is 1 by B minus 1 upon U equal to 1 upon F so from here if we here image is at minus D or you can uh, rewrite this equation that is 1 by V equal to your 1 by V equal to 1 by U plus 1 by F so V is here uh, for this case situation your V is V is minus V is minus D that is uh, here and uh, your U is minus U0 so if I put here I will get uh, minus D equal to some mistake I have done okay fine so uh, 1 by minus D this is equal to 1 by minus U 0 plus 1 by F alright and if we we'll cross multiply you will find out that uh, let's say um, multiply D in both sides so that it will be minus 1 equal to minus D by U0 uh, plus D by F or you can bring 1 this side this D by U0 to the left side so this will become D by U0 equal to 1 plus D by F 1 plus D by F now we have we can prove that your magnification is D by U0 magnification is D by U0 uh, because uh, you can prove that your M is basically theta I by theta 0 so theta I is here theta I is uh, the image that you are getting that is basically your image is your D and you are getting that um, that is H by U0 theta I equal to your H by U0 same right 10 theta so this is H by U0 divided theta H is H by D theta 0 is without lens the angular magnification without lens that is H by D so H is cancelled so it will be D by U0 so D by U0 is the magnification when the image is formed at uh, image is formed at D right uh, so this D by U also is 1 by D by F so let's say this is from equation 1 this is equation 2 so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 you can write that your this is the formula m equal to magnification by a simple microscope is 1 plus d upon f and this is for this is for the image formed at near point image formed at near point d means d is basically 25 centimeter capital D at a near point that means that minimum distance for the distinct vision that is the image formed at the near point now we'll go to the compound microscope which is basically the extension of your simple microscope so compound microscope there will be two lenses basically one will be called objective 
and another is eyepiece so they are connected coaxially in one axis right so this is your compound this is a compound microscope and we'll keep a object uh, basically just beyond your focus of objective so this is your f0 you can say focal length of objective so we'll keep a object beyond f so that a real image will be formed real and inverted image here we have kept the object in between f and optical center so that a virtual image is formed in the same side but uh, if we will keep the object uh, just beyond your focal length focus then the image will be a real image the image will be a real image and uh, real image and inverted image will be formed and magnified image also it will be magnified image inverted image now the second image that formed here this image formed here will act as a object for the eyepiece this is very important the image formed here will act as a object for the eyepiece so this is your b image distance this is your u object distance or u0 you can say this is b b0 that is object distance of the objective this is image form in uh, image distance by the objective u0 and v0 also you can represent and uh, then what you will do you have to adjust this image because this one is a movable one this uh, eyepiece is a movable one you can move uh, here some screw will be there you can and this will be inside a tube so you can move this eyepiece uh, means uh, towards the objective or away from the objective like this you can slide so you have to adjust this eyepiece in such a way that this image formed by the objective will be either on focus that is uh, we can say if e focal length of your eyepiece that will be within or on fe it can be on fe if image you are at you adjusted the eyepiece in such a way that the object is on a fee then what will happen the image will be formed at infinity it will not touch the parallel ray will come image will be formed at infinity so image formed at infinity that means the magnification angular magnification by eyepiece is this one we'll use this one right d by f e if you slide and uh, fix your lens in such a way that this image form is exactly on the focus that uh, okay exactly on the focus then it will be on infinity if it is if your image is in between if your image is somewhere in between your focus and your optical center right in between your focus and optical center and you adjusted in such a way that it is formed at at the minimum distance that is your let's say 25 centimeter this distance is let's say 25 centimeter right let's say it's formed here and this distance is let's say d capital d 25 centimeter then the magnification by the ips you will use this formula 1 plus d by f right so two times magnification once the magnification by this objective another magnification by this one so we know that if lenses are combined then the magnification formula your combined magnification by different lenses is m o into m e multiplication of the individual magnification that we know so there will be two cases again one is the image if it is formed at infinity uh, by the eyepiece and image is found at near point that is the least distinct vision right so in both the cases two magnification will come 
Now, I think the construction is clear. If the construction is not clear, you can write in the chat box, uh, in the comment box, so that uh, I can make some more clap and so I can explain another again in one more video. Right? So, here what will happen? Uh, the magnification by the objective. The magnification by the objective will be, we know that uh, for uh, for a uh, convex lens, for a lens is basically magnification is V by U and magnification of eyepiece, magnification of eyepiece will be two cases. One case, if image is formed at infinity, then it will be simply M equal to, it will be D by F E, focal length will be if E I am representing for focus focal length of eyepiece. So D by F E, this is for image, final image formed at far point, very important. And this is called also normal adjustment or uh, image formed at infinity. All these things are the terms used in the numericals. So be careful in competitive exam any time this question comes. So if the image is formed at far point or infinity or uh, somewhere uh, for the normal adjustment also then uh, it's called also normal adjustment. So it is V upon U multiplied by D by F U and M will be this is your M and M will be V by U, D by F E, also you can say, uh, if it is near point, then your V by U multiplied by 1 plus D by F E. Uh, this is for near point, image formed at near point. image formed at near point now the question is that uh, this is your f is uh, if f is very small to d if f is very small to d then uh, your more magnified image will be formed you can see d by f if so to get more magnified or enlarged image what we have to do basically we we have to just reduce the focal length that means we have to find out or make the lens of uh, very small focal fo focal length right so this is your magnification now uh, this v, v, v by u also we represent uh, we can write in this way uh, like uh, you can say that this is from lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equal to your 1 by f okay so here you can say that um, v by u will be v by u you can write just multiply v, v in both sides so it will be 1 minus this will be v by u and this will be v by f so i'll take v by u to right and i'll bring here so i'll get uh, 1 minus v by f equal to v by u right so you see for this case exactly you can see that your v is uh, very large basically as compared to f uh, focal length of objective basically fo because we are calculating for this objective case let's say this is for objective this equation we are using for objective so fo i am using so your v by u is basically basically v by f0 v is very great, uh, greater than greater than your f0 right so what you can uh, write for this uh, in this case, your V is larger and larger than uh, F0. So, you can basically write that. Uh, you can change it and write that. Uh, yes. So, V by F0 will be greater than greater than 
1 right b by f0 is greater than greater than 1 and um, so b by f0 is greater than greater than 1 so you can write that it is minus b by f0 equal to b by u can i write this because it's very big right it's very big b by f0 is let's say 1000 so 1 minus 1000 is minus 999 so basically it's b by f0 if you remove this one also no issue so we can write like this it's approximately equal to it's approximately equal to because we can write that we can write that uh, we can write like this that uh, here b is greater than greater than f0 or in in reverse also you can write b is b by f0 is greater than greater than 1 so we can write like this and also uh, b0 is very close to ips this f will be very small basically h compared to your b so if you will write that your b0 is uh, equal to b0 that is objective um, image formed by the objective b0 is approximately equal to the length of the tube let's say this is the length of the tube the distance between two your uh, lenses that is the length of the tube let's say b0 is the length of the tube approximately b0 is not exactly it approximately equal to let's say uh, the length of the tube so instead of uh, b by f0 you can write this is minus l by f0 l by f0 is equal to your b by u so this formula will be modified in terms of l if you want to write sometimes so what happens because the result will not very change uh, the magnification uh, whatever the magnification you will get that will that won't change if we we'll use l by f0 sometimes l is given the length of the tube is basically given instead of this b by u the length of the tube will be given in the numerical and focal length of the objective will be given question will be asked to calculate the magnification instead of b and u length of the tube will be given so for that case you can use your m equal to your m equal to this one will be minus l by f0 and uh, into d by fe so this will be your magnification formula approximately right but exactly this is the formula l we can replace with your b b we can b l is approximately equal to your b length of the tube is approximately equal to b because uh, f e is very close to basically the lens so b0 will be equal to your l will be equal to l is the length of the tube l is the length of the tube l is length of the tube fine so again also l by f you can use here for the near point also you can use replace v by u and you can write minus f l by f0 so that these formulas are used in, in numerical basically right more in the numerical so this is all about your compound microscope and uh, your uh, the magnification formula for the compound microscope now in practical uh, compound microscope this single eyepiece that we have uh, taken a simplified version of the uh, compound microscope basically there are a combination of lenses to get more magnified image uh, instead of single lens there will be combination of lens so that the um, your it will create more magnified image also eyepiece will be also combination of more uh, lenses now magnification magnification magnifying power the unit is used as uh, capital x suppose uh, you might have seen in camera 20x zoom 20x zoom means the magnifying power is 20 
that means it can magnify this lens or this compound microscope can magnify 20x that means 30x that means the object right it can magnify the object 30 times 20x means 20 times so capital x is generally it is the unit of your magnifying power uh, it is represented as unit of magnifying power unit of magnifying power all right so these things are all about your compound microscope still if you find uh, difficulties in any section you can write in the comment box i'll uh, try to make one more video clarifying your doubts thank you for watching the video see you again with another topic bye bye